Hey guys, welcome back to SSD's weekly news recap, where we bring you the week's top cybersecurity updates. This week we discuss a server-side template injection issue leading to an RCE in VMware, hackers exploiting Spring 4 Shell to distribute the Mirai botnet, CISA warns of a bug that is being exploited in the wild, and Qbot malware switches its infection vector. We publish new videos weekly. Don't forget to press like and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned. Kicking off with our CVE of the week, a remote code execution vulnerability in VMware Workspace ONE. VMware Workspace ONE is a digital workspace platform that enables users to deliver and manage apps on multiple devices. An issue was found in Workspace ONE's Access and Identity Manager that could allow attackers with network access to trigger a server-side template injection that may result in remote code execution. Luckily, the security researcher who discovered this vulnerability reported it to VMware and patches as well as workarounds were released to the public. If you found a similar vulnerability, you can contact us at SSD's website. We handle disclosures quickly and discreetly with the biggest payouts out there. In other news, hackers are exploiting the Spring 4 Shell vulnerability to distribute the Mirai botnet. Spring 4 Shell is a critical remote code execution vulnerability in the Spring Code Java framework that we discussed in last week's video. Hackers are exploiting Spring 4 Shell to download the Mirai sample and execute it in vulnerable Spring Core applications. Mirai is used for various attacks like crypto mining and distributed denial of service attacks, so we advise you to patch your system as soon as possible to protect yourself. Moving on, CISA urges users to patch their system against an actively exploited bug. The bug that is being exploited is a privilege escalation vulnerability affecting WatchGuard Firebox and XTM firewall appliances that could allow attackers to access the system with a privilege management session. This privilege escalation vulnerability is being targeted specifically by the Sandworm hacking group using the Cyclops Blink botnet. The vulnerability can only be exploited if devices are configured to allow unrestricted management access from the internet, so we advise you to check the configuration on your device. And now for our last story, Qbot malware changed its attack vector. Qbot is a modular Windows banking trojan with more features that was distributed through phishing emails dropping Microsoft Office documents with malicious macros to victims' devices. Qbot's operators changed this attack vector, switching to distributing it through a password-protected zip archive attachment containing malicious MSI Windows installer packages inside phishing emails. The researchers who discovered this change say it is probably a direct reaction to Microsoft announcing plans to kill malware delivery via VBA Office macros. That's it for now. More details about what we just mentioned can be found in the description below. Don't forget to follow us on our other channels to keep up with the latest news and advisories and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly news updates.